So you're going to San Juan and you want to check out the Marriott San Juan Stellaris Casino Resort. We stayed there for two nights and three days on our way to the cruise. We were actually going to be, we got on a Virgin Voyages cruise. Um, we flew into San Juan and we're going to talk about what was our experience there? Would we stay there again? Was it worth the price? Kelly, my husband and I then flew into San Juan, um, Puerto Rico. And first of all, let me talk about the airport. The airport was very convenient, very nice. It is a U.S. territory, so you don't have to worry about customs, which is awesome. The Marriott uh, San Juan Stellaris Casino Resort was only a 10-minute drive from the airport. So you had the option of taking a taxi or using an Uber. We actually called for an Uber, um, but it was going to be like a 13 minute wait. We thought, oh, that was probably fine. It never came, the traffic was too bad. So we actually ended up taking a taxi and I wish we had just gone with that from the very beginning. So I would say go to the taxi area. There was taxis there all the time. It was very safe. You had a standard rate of $28 to get us to the Marriott. Um, and that was what the rate was gonna be on the Uber as well. And it was a 10 minute drive and they brought you right up to the Marriott. Very safe, very convenient. If you wanna know more about the San Juan airport, stick around to the end of the video. I will talk about some differences in that airport um, at the end of the video. So the location is absolutely fabulous. Um, it is again, 10 minutes from the airport and it's right off of Canandando Beach. I may not be pronouncing that correctly, um, but a fabulous location and a fabulous beach and several resorts on that beach. The other thing that made it so convenient is there was literally a CVS right next door to the resort. It was a less than a minute walk and a Walgreens right down the block that was maybe a two minute walk as well as several restaurants. And we'll talk about a couple that we went to, hair salons, uh, ice cream, a park. The location was, in my opinion, fabulous. So the taxi dropped us off at the front, the lobby. We got dropped off at like 7, 10 p.m. Um, and our flight for reference came in at 6, 10 p.m. So it took about an hour by the time we got our luggage, get, had to wait to figure out the Uber and taxi. We probably could have shaved 20 minutes off just by going right to the taxi. Um, and why the 7, 10 p.m. was, I'll say significant, although it was fine, there was plenty of check-in people. But at 7 p.m., if you are a bomb boy member, which I am a silver member, um, there is a special check-in area uh, for Bomvoy members, but that ends at 7 p.m. So then you go to the regular check-in. But honestly, it was very clean. It was very efficient. I think maybe we waited five minutes. Um, so it really wasn't a big deal. But if that's important to you, um, you may try to get there before 7 p.m. There is an um, There are several on-site restaurants at this resort. So off of the lobby then, there's what they call La Pandanderia. And that is kind of your, you get your coffee, you get your quick grab and go things. They do have pastries. They do have some hot sandwiches and hot soups. Uh, there is a on-site restaurant in the floor below and they actually, that's where they cook the food that's not grab and go. So what they do is you would put in your order, you'll get a, a buzzer and they will buzz you when the food is brought back up from up to upstairs from the restaurant that's on site. So the food, if the if you go to the on site restaurant down below, is the same as La Pendinera on that menu uh, because it's cooked right at that restaurant. We just thought the food was okay. We ordered the Turkey Club, I believe, and fries, um, and it was just it was okay. I would give it a five out of ten probably. Uh, coffee was very strong. It was a local coffee, uh, San Juan coffee, very, very uh, Puerto Rican coffee, very strong. Um, so keep that in mind if you like your coffee strong. Then also off of the lobby was Ohan Sushi and Poke Bar. We did not eat there. Um, the hours were variable, uh, but there were, we did see people enjoying that um, often. So if that is of interest to you, that is right off the lobby as well. Outside the front entrance, there is Terrazzo, and that has pizza and gelato. The gelato was fantastic. We did not try the pizza, but we had I had the gelato two different nights and it was fantastic. And the customer service was awesome. If you wanted some specialty, you know, they really tried to make sure they pleased you. Um, I had these chocolate sprinkles I really liked that they had there and they put it on the bottom, they put it on top, they gave me an extra little cup of it. Um, it was awesome. So I do recommend, and it is homemade gelato, that you check out the gelato if that's a fan of yours at the Terrazzo. 
Then there was their main restaurant off of the pool, which is on their bottom level, I guess I'll call it. They have a breakfast buffet daily. Um, pro tip, if you are a Bonvoy member, uh, you get two free buffets, uh, breakfast buffets during your stay, and you can choose to do it at any time you want. We did it uh, the last day, and it is a standard buffet. It was actually quite good. Um, I would say, you know, it would be a seven to eight out of 10 is how I would rank it. Um, they do recommend reservations. However, we actually did not make reservations. Uh, so we put our name in that morning. We walked up and we had to wait about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, so if, if time is important to you, make reservations. If it's not, know you may have a little bit of a wait um, if you're there during peak times, which we were, which was around 9 a.m. on the last morning. Then it has uh, that same restaurant then provides for the beach and the pool kind of, um, I would say, outside seating area. The beach, they do deliver the food. It is a separate menu. So the menu is actually set up at the chairs. Um, and we'll talk about that in a second that you can order. And there are um, waiters that will come out there and get your drink order or get your food order. That is a separate menu from the menu you would get at the pool, bar, and grill. Um, even though it's all the same restaurants, it is two different menus. And they are pretty strict on it. We did not know that because we wanted, you're able to wear swimwear in the outside pool bar area. So the one day we did um, want the nachos off of the beach menu, but we wanted the sandwich off of the restaurant menu. And they did bring it, they did accommodate, but they did say, we don't do this. Um, we have to have separate, they are separate menus. So keep that in mind if that's important to you um, on certain um, certain menu items off of each menu. Uh, so at the pool beach bar, then we, get, we order the nachos, the quesadilla, um, and it was, again, it was just kind of okay. I would give it a six out of 10. Um, it just wasn't anything um, that I would rave about. It wasn't bad, um, but again, it was just okay. And the pricing was a little expensive, but again, you kind of expect that when you're when you're paying for pricing on a resort. Um, so just keep that in mind. If price and you're a foodie, you may want to go to one of the restaurants that's literally down the street. Very easy to walk to. But for the convenience of wearing your swimsuit, going from the beach to the pool for us, it was fine and it was worth it. And you can charge it to your room with no problems. Uh, so again, going back to the re actual resort, signage was very good, um, very clear. It is a smaller resort, but you have a lot of amenities for the smaller resort. Now it is a little pricier. We actually used Bonvoy um, points, our Marriott points, so we didn't have to pay anything extra other than the tax. Um, but it is between four and $500 a night. But to be honest, many of the resorts, because uh, the other one we compared it to was the Hilton, which was on that same beach, same great location down the, down the beach, um, was, a, was around that same price, if not a titch more. So you may be able to find other resorts that are a little bit less expensive, but in general, they were all pretty expensive for the time that we went. But we felt for the smaller resort, it was very safe. Security was awesome. Customer service was fabulous. They're opening the door for you. They're constantly talking to you, letting you know what you need, trying to get you you know, to be as vacation happy as you can. Um, we felt for the amenities and the price in the smaller resort that it was worth it. So now for the room. The room was very standard. There was really nothing that I would say that was outstanding, but it was clean. We had the we actually had the balcony room standard view because again, we went we used points um, and we knew we weren't gonna be in there long. But they upgraded us for no charge to an ocean view, and it was awesome. We had a great view of the ocean and the pool. Um, so if you can get an upgrade, um, especially for free, definitely do it. It might be worth it to you if you're like me and you like your coffee out on the balcony to watch the beach and listen to the waves. It might be worth it to you. So it was awesome. Uh, we had two, again, two beds. Uh, the balcony had two chairs and a small table. It was high. We had a high room, but the, again, the view you can't beat. Uh, closet with robes, which we did use the robes and it was awesome. Air conditioning worked fantastic. Um, it was about 86 to 88 degrees outside and the air conditioning was awesome. We had no problems with that. Again, your standard bathroom, your standard Marriott shampoo, conditioner, and body wash all are provided in the shower. Um, so if, if those products aren't important to you, know you'll have that there. There was a safe, there was a refrigerator, plenty of outlets, plenty of space. Um, kind of the hardwood floors, no carpeting, um, and a coffee maker. 
So for us, the standard room was plentiful um, for what we needed for those couple days before we boarded our cruise. Um, but I do know there were other room options, but for us, this was just fine. Uh, we did use the laundry service um, on the morning of our cruise, just decided to wash our travel clothes um, and our swimsuits. It was $3 per wash and $3 per dry. Uh, so it was about a 20 to 40 minute time period. They were quite busy. There was only two each. Um, so keep that in mind of maybe not using peak times, um, but we had no troubles with that and would recommend the, the laundry service. There is, it is, casino is in the name. Uh, so there is an on-site casino. It is right off of the lobby um, and there was security at that entrance. So if that, we did not partake in the casino, at least not um, at this hotel. So, but if that's important to you, again, very convenient. It was going all the time and you won't have any troubles there. So the pool and beach access, which frankly for us was, is almost as important as the location and everything else. Uh, so the pool, beautiful pool at night, they have it lit up at night. People are using it at night. Um, it did have hours. I think that went till 11 p.m. Um, we did not hear anything in our room. So soundproofing, even though we had a pool and beach access, it was soundproof was fine with the doors closed. Um, it does get busy, but it didn't feel overwhelming. There was always chairs available at the pool. There are two kind of sections of the pool. I'll call it the front section or the section closest to the resort itself was maybe more of the family oriented area. Um, it had a zero entry entry. It had kind of all where the activities are. So the activities were awesome. They would have a ping pong table. They had kids activities like um, Jenga and um, checkerboard. They had yoga and water aerobics. Um, they had popcorn during different times of the day. They had fresh water with um, fruit in it or just plain fresh water that they refreshed often. So that area was lovely. There was always chairs available. There was kind of a shady area and the sun area. And that was the area closest to the beach that we used the very first day. On the other side of the pool, I'll call it, is kind of the, I'll call it the bar, the pool bar kind of happening area. So if a swim up pool bar is important to you, go to the second pool. Um, and that was also busy, but again, never had any issues finding a chair. It had a slide that also went into that pool. So there were two slides, one on each side. Um, and so there was music playing on that side. And the, the way they did it was great because you did not hear that music on the front side. You were able to play the activities that they normally do and hear just fine. But the music was, was blaring on the other side. So again, if that's a concern of yours, maybe don't go to the swim up bar area. Uh, but we enjoyed that and did that on the second day. Beach access was really close, was awesome. Um, they have attendants there or waiters there that will set up your chairs. You just wait in the line. They have a little like check-in point, I guess I'll call it. The chairs and umbrellas are free to use. You just tell them where you wanna put your chair and umbrella and they go take care of it for you. Um, we gave them a couple dollars tip. You don't have to, um, but they, they, you can do that. And again, at those chairs, you can also then order your drinks and your food right to that beach access. So that was awesome. Um, so, and then ask them, they'll also, for pro tip, if, if shade or sun is important to you while you're there, they will tell you the best way to go because they know where the sun is going with the hotels on the sides. You know, what will be blocked by shade and what will be sunny for you throughout the day. Um, so pro tip, ask your attendant and they have all the expertise on that if that's important to you. As far as the beach, the beach was wonderful. You can walk it. It was about, probably it was about a mile to go each side, maybe a half to three quarter mile on the left, half to three, uh, three quarter mile on the right before you hit, I would call what would be like a little pier-like area, um, but very sandy, no rocks, easy to walk. People were walking it and jogging it off, uh, often. Um, the waves were fine. There was, I mean, a little waves, but it wasn't like huge wake. Um, I'm sure they get that, at least the day we were there. It was pretty calm. People were in the water. We went in the water. The water was warm. One little nice thing too that was awesome is people would be walking the beach, but nobody was actively trying to sell you anything. Um, so if you waved them over, they would come over, but there must be a good kind of gentleman's agreement um, that they don't harass you, which was also a nice plus because we've been on beaches where you kind of get asked often. We didn't have any of that issue on this beach. They had fitness classes. Like I said, I did not go to the gym, um, but they had different fitness classes outside like the yoga and water aerobics. And then they had a full service gym as well. Um, if you are a Bonvoy member, you can get late checkout. So checkout was 11 a.m. 
Um, but we couldn't, we didn't have to get on our cruise ship until 1.30. So we asked for a late checkout and we were provided that and that was uh, with no issues whatsoever. If you can't get late checkout, they do hold your luggage though. So you can still use all the amenities that day or go do what you wanna do and they will hold your luggage for you as well. Again, so to kind of cap it all off, the customer service was fantastic. The food was mm, average at best. Um, access though to the location was awesome and cannot say highly enough that. I did use the beauty salon that was across the street and they were fantastic as well. You were able to make an appointment. So I got my blowout before the day of my cruise. So I didn't have to worry about any of that. If you wanna go in with awesome hair, if you're going somewhere, that was great. We did go to the restaurant right across called D Zuccero and that food was awesome. We actually would give that food a nine out of 10, probably maybe even a 10 out of 10, but I would say a nine out of 10. Um, we had the pizza and the Greek salad and it was Awesome. So I said I would talk about, as a bonus tip, the um, San Juan Airport. If you find the, found this video helpful at all, please give me a like and subscribe. It really helps move my channel forward. And let me know below what questions do you have about this resort um, or the airport that I can answer for you. So the San Juan Airport, again, it was only 10 minutes from that. Um, from that resort. It's also only 10 minutes to the port of where you're going as well. So the convenience of this location was awesome. Um, one tip that we didn't realize, and we should have because we've been to Hawaii where this is also has to happen, is you have to go through an FSDA um, inspection for all of your bags before you check in to get your to go through security if you're doing carry-on only or to check in if you're checking a bag so all of your bags your carry-on bag your personal item bag and your checked bag and your purse needs to go through an FSDA inspection it's very quick it's right at the front um, and you get a yellow sticker on each of the bags so that security and your check-in areas knows that it's been inspected. So make sure you do that because we saw a lot of people in line that did not do that, did not see the signage, and they had to go back and do that before they had to go back in line to check in or go through security. So I wanted to make sure I brought that up. But the airport was very modernized. It had air conditioning. It had plenty of seating. It has um, a, a margarita, Air Margaritaville restaurant. It has little shops, so if you did not get things maybe that you wish you had while you were shopping at San Juan. It had shops, it had duty-free liquor and things like that. Um, it does have pre-check, which is awesome because it is a U.S. territory airport. So again, no customs. Um, and we do have pre-check. So the normal security line was about 30 minutes and they were announcing that so you knew for security how long it was gonna take you. But if you had pre-check, it took less than five minutes and it was awesome. Uh, so anyway, would we fly into San Juan again? We absolutely would. It was awesome. Would we stay at the Marriott San Juan Stellaris Casino again? And we absolutely would. So again, hopefully you found this helpful. Please give me a like and subscribe if you did and take a look at this next video.